Artificial intelligence is all around us. You'll see it when Alexa answers one of your questions, when your email gives you a suggestion of what to reply with, or even when you put a photo on Facebook and it recognises your face. It's so commonplace at the moment that many people, like me, are now asking, what's this all leading towards? If you look closely, a lot of today's artificial intelligence involves programming computers to follow instructions and perform tasks. It looks like human thinking, but it's just a process. It isn't genuine human intelligence. So in the future, could a machine ever really think like a human? To answer that, we first need to understand how humans think. There are lots of tools at our disposal to achieve this, such as this fMRI machine. This machine here allows us to create detailed images of people's brains um, and when we carry out any kind of cognitive activity and information processing, our brains use up energy, just like a computer. So the images we get from the scanner will show us activity in the areas that are involved in the information processing and therefore using up the energy. So in this case, an individual is going to be looking at images of faces and the brain scans will show activity in the areas involved in face processing as they are using up energy and therefore are active. But if we then show the individual a familiar face, the activity in those areas will be reduced and this therefore means that the brain is using up less energy to carry out the face processing and this therefore suggests that the brain is an energy efficient machine. Human brain activity is organised in complex networks that change as we learn and develop. So to think like us, machines need to respond to their physical and social environments. Human-like thinking is unlikely to result from the traditional methods we use to program computers. Instead, thinking machines need to adapt. Evolution has been adapting the brains of humans over many thousands of years and most of our core functions, such as perception, decision-making and motor control, are present across many species. By using a range of cutting-edge techniques, we can reverse engineer these neural systems and how they adapt. We can simulate our core functions in artificial brains that can control artificial bodies. We might expect computers, such as robots, that can think with human-like brains to experience human-like problems, and recreating the problems of motor control, for example, might help suggest new treatments for diseases like Parkinson's, which affects the motor control areas of the brain. Challenging these artificial brains with cognitive tasks such as learning, memory, decision-making, prediction and language might help provide further insights into the workings of healthy and unhealthy brains. Thanks, Pepper. No problem. One of the key challenges in producing an artificial brain is understanding how the human brain has developed to be so energy efficient. Human brains are fundamentally made up of neurons, but it's more complicated than that. The relationship between information processing and energy use is regulated by a complicated network of different cell types, and each of these cell types has a specific role to play. Our brains can run on the energy of an average laptop, but if you run a brain simulation, you need a massive supercomputer to achieve a fraction of the speed. So in order to be able to produce an artificial brain, we need to fully understand how the human brain has developed such an energy efficient information processing circuit. So, could a computer ever really think like a human? It's possible, but right now we don't know for sure. Getting there will involve bringing together expertise from many different disciplines. We need computer scientists, engineers, cutting edge techniques from neuroscience and medicine and theoretical approaches from biology and psychology. What is certain is that by working towards this together, we stand to learn a great deal about ourselves in the process.